Hello and welcome to the My Tiny Ecosystem Aqua tutorial. The very first thing you'll want to do is locate the bag with the substrate in it. Now pour out the contents of the bag into your jar. Ideally, you'll want about an inch and a half of substrate. This not only promotes the growth of certain microbes, but also provides a space for your plants to take root. Now go ahead and provide some water for your system. I highly recommend you use spring water. Try to avoid anything with chlorine in it. Don't fill the water all the way just yet. Give your substrate a little bit of time to settle, as it will likely cloud the water upon pouring it. Now that it's clear, I'm going to go ahead and add the plants. It really helps to use the bottommost leaves as anchors of sorts. Make sure they go under the substrate. Up next are your hardscape elements, sticks and stones. Place these in whatever assortment you'd like. During this step, you can also add your shell slash throne. The throne serves as a steady spot for the moss ball to sit on. Now we can add both the moss ball and its snail bro companion. After this, go ahead and top off the system with the remaining water. Be careful to not send everything flying inside. And now your system is officially complete. The only requirement is photosynthesis. Make sure it gets an adequate amount of light per day. In terms of changing out the water, there really is no need to do this. If you decide to change the water out anyways, leave the top open for about two weeks. Water will naturally evaporate from the system. You can then top off the missing water with fresh spring water. To feed your snail bros, add the tiniest, most minuscule pinch possible. When it comes to a system this small, less is always more. Within a few months time, your brand new system will look similar to mine here. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.